Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to discuss question count the total number of binary search trees given n where n is the number of keys in the binary search tree. So let me quickly describe what binary search tree is. A binary search tree is a tree where every node has two child and everything on the left side is less than the root and everything at the right child is greater than the root and this is true for every node. So for example, 10, 9, and 12. This is an example of a very simple binary search tree because root is greater than left side and is less than right child. So what this question means is, say we have n keys and n is three, for example, how many binary search trees we can have? Let's see, if n is one, we can and say that key is 10, we can have only one binary search tree of uh, which has just one node 10. If n is 2 and say the keys are 10 and 11, then we can have two binary search trees. One is 10, 11, and the other one is 11, 10. So we can have two binary search trees possible if we had two keys. Let's see what happens when n is 3. So suppose n is 3 and we have 3 keys in the binary search tree. So let's see how many trees we can have. When 10 is root, we can have 11 and 12. And this is one way. Second way is 10, 12, 11. Third way is with 11, with 11 as root. 11, 10, 12, fourth way is with 12 as root, 12, 10, 11, and fifth way is 12, 11, and 10. So if n is 3, and this, if the keys are 10, 11, 12, we can have five different binary search trees. All right, let's see what we'll have when n is four. Suppose the keys are 10, 11, 12, and 13, all right? So when 10 is root of this binary search tree, say 10 comes first, so then, everything will be on the right side of 10. So here we'll have 11, 12, 13 arranged in certain order. We already know how many number of trees we can form when 11, 12, and 13 are combined together because we know that that number is n is equal to three, which is five trees. So if, if n is equal to three, we already know that we can form five trees and when 10 is root, so when 10 is root, we can, you know, total we can get five different binary search trees. Let me write them quickly. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 12, 11, 13, 12, 10, 12, 11, 13, 10, 13, 12, 11, 10, 13, 11, 12. So with 10 as root, we can clearly see the number of binary trees we can get is five. Now let's, let's see. If 11 is a root of this binary tree, 12 and 13 go on this side, and 10 goes on this side because it's a binary search tree. So we already know what is the size of binary search tree when we have two elements, which is two, and that is when we have one element, which is one. So the total number of binary search trees that can be formed when 11 is the root is t of one into t of two, all right? Because this two can 
form any number of combinations here, this one will form one combination here, and so the total number of combination will be the multiplication of this into this. All right, so this number is one into two because we have already calculated them, which is two. All right, so let's see when 12 is the root. When 12 is root, 10 and 11 go on this side, and 13 go on, goes on this side, so the total number of trees formed when 10 and 11, just 10 and 11 is there is t of 2 and this is t of 1. So again the total number of trees with 12 as root is t of 2 into t of 1 which is again 2. And when 13 is root, 10, 11, 12 goes on this side. So total number of trees we can get is the, all the combinations for these three which is 5 so 5 so the total number of trees possible when n is 4 is when 10 was root which is t of 3 plus when 11 was root which is t of 1 into t of 2 when 12 was root so t of 2 into t of 1 and then when 13 was root which is again t of 3 so the total is 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 14. So the total number of trees we can form when there are 4 keys is 14. So let's see what the total number of keys we can have for n is equal to 5. When n is equal to 1, total keys is 1. When n is 2, total keys is 2. When 3, 3. When 4, we have, uh, when 3, we have 5. When 4, we have 14. Let's see for n is equal to 5. Using the same logic of uh, calculating the value for 4, let's calculate it for 5. So let's say the keys are 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. When 10 is root, this 4 will form t of 4 combinations. So t of 4 plus when 11 is root, this is t of 1 and this is t of 3. So t of 1 into t of 3 plus when 12 is root t of 2 into t of 2 2 on this side and 2 on this side so t of 2 into t of 2 plus when 13 is root t of 3 into t of 1 plus when 14 is root t of 4 so this number is we already know what t of 4 is which is 14 plus we already know what is t of 1 is so 1 into t of 3 is 5 plus we already know t of 2 which is 2 into 2 plus we know 3 which is 5 into 1 plus 14 so this number comes out to be 14 plus 5 19 19 plus 4 23 23 plus 5 28 28 plus 14 is 42 so when n was 5 total number of trees we can get is 42 and this way we can keep calculating when n is a very high number or for any number for any n all right let's see what the code for this one will look like for and let's have some initial values t of 0 is 1 and t of 1 is also 1 when we have just one key, we know that the total number of trees is 1. i equal to 2, i less than equal to n, i plus plus, 4, int, j equal to 0, j less than i, j plus plus, t of i is equal plus equal to T of uh, J into T of I minus J minus 1. So this will this will calculate for every I what is the possible number of uh, trees that are possible. This number is uh, called Catalan number and it is useful in solving many other problems. So let me let me quickly calculate for 5 when if if i is 5 and if j is when j is 0 this is t 
of 5 is equal to t of 0 into t of 4 plus t of, when j becomes 1, so t of 1 plus t of 3 plus when j becomes 2, so t of 2 plus t of 2 plus t of 3 into t of uh, 1 plus t of 4. This will come out to be 42. So if you want the full solution, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission piece, interview wiki. And if you want similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user Tushar Roy 2525. Thanks for watching this video.